Hello folks, how you going? Welcome back to Aussie Daisy. And to what is probably going to be the last video in the series, Procedure to Convert Your Overseas License to Australia. On the last episode, I had closed at a very disheartened state. When I watched it again, even I felt a little terrible. So here is my next video on the successful retest. Okay, let me pick up things from where I had left off the last time. My retest got scheduled in a month's time. I really wanted it sooner than that because I was relocating to Sydney soon and it would upset all my plans and make a lot of things very difficult. But that was the earliest available date at the Carlton Center. My driving instructor dropped me back home and on the way he said, I was driving well and did everything perfect until that ill-fated moment when I screwed up. He also said that the testing officer I got for the day was probably one of the best ones at Carlton. Listening to that made me feel even more terrible, thinking how I had let such a good opportunity slip. Anyway, I did not book another session with my instructor and just said, I'll be in touch. To be honest, even he looked very disturbed by the outcome. So I lived in my mystery for the day and night. The next day, I walked back to that intersection and reassessed things. I was weighing my options. Should I try for another go at an earlier date at another test center where I wouldn't have a clue about the test routes? Or should I just wait for my test in one month probably having to travel back from Sydney and then make some arrangements for receiving my license that would get mailed to my Melbourne address once I get through the test. Or should I uh, book my instructor services once again? Or shall I just rent a car and take the test on, 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 on my own, thereby saving some money? But then would that car be able to get through the pre-drive check? and have a visible speedometer and mirrors for the test officer. While I was still undecided on all these questions, I kept checking the Vic Roads website for any slots opening up through cancellations. Now, this is one little tip that might be useful for those who do not already know. You can reschedule the tests that you have booked in. You can do this yourself. You can do this online or even through uh, you know, the customer support telephone lines. As an overseas driver, the initial booking cannot be made online because you do not have a learner license number. However, once a booking is in the system, you can then, then reschedule it as per your convenience. And of course, there's a cost involved for this reschedule. Anyway, I, I repeatedly kept checking the availability through the day and I st still remember this quite clearly. It was a Friday and well into the evening when I suddenly found a slot opening up for Monday. And I just went for it immediately without thinking much. This was within the school time window, late evening, but I didn't care. I didn't even know if my driving instructor had availability during that time. I thought I would figure all that out later so I figure something out and I just got the booking done. As it turned out, my instructor was available at that time. So I booked in with him again. So I failed my test on a Thursday and I was going to take my retest in four days on the next Monday. It was after I got the test rescheduled that I started feeling better again. I was going to have a chance to make amends very soon. No further lessons or practice. I just wanted to make sure I go in with a clear head and try and ensure I do not have any goof ups. Once again, I went for a warm up session with my driving instructor just before the test. We just went through the school zones and took note one final time and then went in for the test. This time I had a lady test officer 
everything went like the last time minus my stupidity this time i drove all the way to the end of the first stage and got the reverse parallel path done the lto took a moment totaled my scores and said we move on to stage 2 before we started stage 2 she just asked me how i was feeling i said I, i was very honest i said i did feel the nerves to which she replied just relax and drive normal you're doing well and i went woohoo so am i now very near to making it i thought but then quickly had to refocus don't get ahead of yourself i tried saying in my head uh, as it turned out i did have a few moments in stage 2 the first one was in it at an intersection where i was asked to turn left i could see a bus stopped at a bus stop a little before the intersection the left turning lane was clear ahead of the bus and it didn't look like the bus was going to move anytime soon so i tried to get past and move into the left turning lane but just as i was about to the bus moved and i had to stop i did not know if that was an error or how bad was that error but i tried to forget it and to refocus anyway i was sure it wasn't an immediate termination error as the test went on you'll be fine i was i just kept telling myself and kept driving another little mistake was at a roundabout i was asked to make a u turn as at the roundabout as in go all around the roundabout and come back and i almost forgot to turn on my indicators i did put them on just before entering the, in the entering the roundabout but this was noted and mentioned during the feedback at the end of the test the rest of the test was uneventful and everything went smooth i did face some heavy traffic there was one instance where i had to uh hang back and obey a keep clear section on the road as the traffic had come to a standstill up ahead i realize now that that was probably a section which could which could have affected my scores had i just kept going anyway after a, a drive for the full 40 minutes we got back into the parking lot at the Carlton Vic roads we were then asked to go in and wait soon enough the lady lto called me over to the counter and said congratulations you have passed phew it was done and a weight got lifted off my chest she said i drove well overall and only mentioned about the indicator stuff the bus situation was not brought up maybe it was not maybe it was not an error i don't know the next step was to pay for my license and get a photo done on second thought i will make one more video with the details of all the costs involved a to z that might help some of you budget the expenses for a license my lto also said that i was the only one whom she had passed that whole day and that her day had thus come to a good close phew i i thank my lto and left from from the vic roads office my driving instructor then tells me that this lady was actually a tough cookie and was infamous for her fail rates so a lesson to be had maybe don't go by reputations because i failed with one of the best guys and passed with one of the toughest so maybe it's just down to how you drive i got home and yes finally oh that feels good yeah clip from that day and i felt so good so i leave you with that car driving license check So it turns out this is not the last video 
Next one will have the expense details for those interested. Thanks for your time and see you later.